look at this. We got some fun blizzards. We got Greenland, we got Brazil, China. That's mildly interesting, but this is a one point North America and South America honeypot. So you know everybody's gonna go nuts for it. I also have a death spawn for Australia. I go last. Oh my gosh, if pink decides to destroy me or green decides to fight for this, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. So let's see if we can survive today's episode. Red is taking a card. He added up here. Ptolema? Wait, what is he going for? He's going for Asia. Wait, what is Red going for? This is gonna be tricky. General Goda. They have some in here, but so does everybody else. <laughs> let's see what white comes up with. Green says alliance. Sure, I don't know what you want. But sure, you love me. Yeah, I bet you do. I really bet you do. I bet you, I bet you do. All right, White, where do you want? It's hard. I think it's hard. I don't think White has a good position. I don't think I have a good position because I have a bunch in here and a bunch in here. So yeah, South America, of course. You think that's for you? I don't know. There's going to be a lot of people fighting for this death pot. <laughs> it could be a situation where everybody fights. Oh, everybody loves me. Oh, yeah, you all love me. All right, good job, White. Uh, yeah, okay. Good luck getting South America. And then Green or me or somebody's going to go for North America and we're all going to get in a fight. David has purple. They got a lot in Asia. I could easily see them trying to go for either Africa or Europe and just working it out with uh, pink. Let's see, are they actually going into Europe? Yeah, they blast into the two. Now they can fortify this way or fortify that guy up. Okay, but what does Green want? This is General Fujimoto, and we'll see what they come up with. Hopefully it's something here. <laughs> we just gotta get past Green and Pink, and then maybe we can figure out what we wanna do. North America is gonna be a horrible place to be. So I'm glad Green is fighting for it, and not for this. And the reason is that White is gonna very crazily go for South America, but then there's gonna be some sort of death fight. Hmm. Maybe I could join the death fight just to have a laugh. This is, oh, a bot. Oh, pink's a bot. Abnabat didn't want to play today. I feel like I say it every time we have unusual blizzards. But unusual blizzards very often lead to quick bot outs. <laughs> Some people don't want to play them. And I don't know why. When I see like unusual or tricky blizzards, it makes me want to play the game. I actually want to play more. I am gonna go for Australia like a crazy noob. <laughs> I know, I see you, White. But I think White is busy doing other things. Let's just lose two. I don't want this bot in here. White could ruin my life, especially when I lose three more. I take the risk. I don't think White is gonna mess with me. I think they're too busy focused on South America because if they don't focus on South America, Green is gonna destroy them. So if White ends my game, Green is gonna end White's game. So I'm taking Australia on turn one, using all of the extra troops I got to get this bot out of here. And let's see if we can play a competitive game from this position. Very risky, slow playing Australia. I think it's very viable. It may be recommended by a lot of these experts out there, okay? But what do they know about having fun in a game of risk? You got crazy blizzards, you gotta go nuts. You gotta exploit other people's fear. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, oops, Daisy, oops, oops, what are you doing? Stop, you were going for Australia the whole time? What the heck? <laughs> are you going for Australia, bro? You got it. You're gonna go through White's Five and into me. Are you, I just don't, just tell me if you're being serious, Red. Go for Africa, bro, nobody else wants it. White takes South America. Amazing. Now, if you put this six here, double amazing. But I think they're going to put it on the four for now. So green still doesn't know if white is going to be friend or foe by the time they take all of North America. <laughs> white does have exteriors, but this five is buried. It's kind of trapped. White can't get a card here. Not easily. Maybe they can. Maybe they're hoping white will get a card here. Otherwise, white needs to take cards in here. I don't think anyone's going to mess with purple taking this. But there's still so much material, it's gonna be a while before purple gets this. Oh, green gives up on North America altogether and says, oh, <laughs> whoops, I meant to go for Africa. This means white, if green gets all of this stuff out, is white is gonna be able to go conquer North America. Meanwhile, two of us are gonna be fighting for this. Look what you did, red. Red could have gone for Africa and then green would have had to have fought white. 
But Red is gonna come fight me because Australia is kind of goaded. I understand, like, I'm not saying I wouldn't fight to the death for Australia as well. I'm just saying I didn't this time. Let me take a card here, put these guys together, call that my turn. Uh, I still have a couple ways to get exterior cards. Your move, Red, <laughs> your move. There's still time to bully Green. He's committed to too many things. Unless you're just going for Asia, which, you know, that's fine. Okay. Uh, I get the feeling. Red wants to turn in, blast through the white five, and try to take my continent. It's going to ruin both our games, bro. Just, <laughs> can't I just take Australia in peace? Why has it got to be like this? White adds them all in there, and white's just going to take a card in Africa, it looks like. And then what is green going to do? Is green going to leave? One, maybe Red is trying to get all these troops in here, but they're being sneaky. So they're overtly going for Australia. But if they're really being sneaky, they might also be, you know, plotting to somehow make a kill on somebody. But who would it be? It looks like you're plotting to kill me. Go through that three. Okay, cool. Perfect dice. Purple blasts through a three to get all these troops into Europe. This actually opens up a lot of Asia, which could be nice because now Red has the option of going up here and then going away from me. They have the option. It doesn't mean they're gonna do it, but at least they could if they really wanted to. Okay, green takes a card. Oh, he's eliminating white. Wow. Wait, green is not actually just going for Africa. He is going to just eliminate white's exterior. Oh, and maybe he wants Africa so he can use it to defeat white. But come on, red. Go take Africa. Get in there, bro. Get in here. Stay away from me. Oh, Pink Ed's in here. Pink's a bot. So Pink is almost dead. Hmm. But Purple is going to get this kill whenever they're ready. Okay. Purple's going to get that kill. You can see it. You can see it coming. I add here. I guess I act like I'm trying to leave. Okay. I'm just trying to leave. That's where I decided to go. I have three cards. Turn-ins here might matter. If Red gets a turn-in before me and he's wild, he might be blasting into my 16, for all I know. Let's see what he comes up with. Do you have a turn-in? Are you just going for Asia? If so, can I just have Australia? You can have Asia. What do I care? Are you going to be a friendly Asia player? <laughs> Take Asia and then stack nothing on Siam so I don't have to break you? It could work out. Okay, he's adding to that other stack. No, he's coming back this way. Ooh. <laughs> Red! I see it coming, bro. And I don't like it. So white is going to get cards in North America. Okay, interesting choice of square, but sure. Okay, so white decides to get a card up there. No problem with that. They bring it all back. Okay, now this is a definitive no North America for anybody. I'm leaving a five in here. So white is going to get all of this. It's going to be, when white gets all of that, I, we need the rest of the world to kind of be on team. Let's try to destroy them. Purple can kill pink now. And they should be strong enough. Nobody is really set up to eliminate them. Maybe red with a creative kill. Not even. Both of these stacks, if they wanted to go kill purple, they would have to go through the same square. So red can't use all of their, their troops. Wait, what? Gives green the kill. What? Oops. What? <laughs> Wait. So that white can use these. Wait, is are they going to feed white? I get the kill on white if they feed me white. Do you see pink? Wait, do they do they see pink? They're blasting into white. They might they're not going to be able to kill white even after they kill pink. What is happening? What kind of play was this? Pink to green, and then green just blasts white, but does see the kill on pink, and takes two continents, and destroys white's game, but feeds white to me. Well, that's sick. I mean, I get four cards, and then I do what? And then I destroy green? But red's in my way. The problem is red is in my way. I can't do anything crazy after this. If red's 11 wasn't here, I could kill green. Yeah, green sees that I could just, I could go really nuts on them. 
But that's not what I'm going to do. I guess you must love me, because what the heck? <laughs> All right. Let me turn some of these guys in. So I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to go here. Say, I'm sorry, but I need to attack your territory. And I mean there. I'm not going to kill you, even though maybe I could. Maybe I could. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to hope either green or red ends on five cards. Red has assured me that they're going to move that 11 away. Let's see what they come up with. They only get a four trade. I've asked them to move their 13. They're going to go into North America now, it would appear. Great. Yeah, you go fight green. Oh, five on six, you don't say. A classic five on six, huh? Green has a laugh. So these guys are just going to fight. We've entered into a four-player endgame out of nowhere. And it's amazing. Two players are fighting, and I'm actually stronger than purple. Purple has the better continent, but the other two are fighting. So the way that you win a four-player endgame with two friendly players and two players fighting, is either I double kill red and green on the same turn and then somehow first strike purple, or I eliminate purple, the friendly player, and then I try to uh, let these other guys fight it out and win the end game that way. So having Australia here is not necessarily the greatest thing, but maybe these guys feed each other? How hard is green gonna go? He's gonna attack the 11... So I need more than I need more than Australia right now. Okay, so they're gonna try to remove just a bunch of red. Hmm. You have a turn in, a big one. So I want to destroy purple. <laughs> it's only for two cards. I'd end on five, but nobody has a turn in and nobody has a stack aimed at me. <laughs> I mean, this might be the wildest play of all time but I'm just going to destroy purple and just get insane dice. Watch it. Here's how it goes. Insane dice. I'm just going to get the best dice you've ever seen. And uh, I'm not going to go into green at the end of it because I'm going to end on five cards. I'm just going to take out purple and take Europe, if you don't mind. That's the way that I'm going to do it. <laughs> so it's a very risky kill. But I see that purple is kind of my opposition. And now I get Ukraine, so I have a line on red and green. So hopefully these two keep fighting. I am now still stronger than both of them. But if red keeps going into green, we just win easy by destroying purple. Risky. Red might go after me now. They might be like, wait, now you can't have two continents. But if they just fight each other, oh goodness. Then we win easy and we made the right decision to eliminate purple. This is great. <laughs> yes. That's great. Keep it up. Keep it up. Put them in North America. Away from me. Go to North America. Go fight them in South America. You got it, bro. You got it. What does that do? Ooh. <laughs> it's kind of next to me, bro. And I got a lot of cards, just so you're aware. Green breaks me or keeps fighting red? Attack red. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah, just attack red. Can you feed me red somehow? Now, how would I kill both of these players at the same time? It's not going to be so easy. We get the five trade. And what do we do with it? Cool. So these guys are still hitting each other. Maybe I just need to give the red 10 a road into green. I can open up the Middle East so red can go into green. Or I can just fight one of them directly. If I could kill somebody, it would be red. If I can kill red and smash out North Amer uh, South America, maybe I just win. Japan? Can I kill red? Yes. Get a turn in, smash green. Red would like it to be done a different way. But I think this is how I win. So let's... That's enough. So let's go here. And here. And let's eliminate red. And this should win. I have so many troops randomly scattered. If I get another trade in, if I can go smash that 14, even if green gets a turn, I should be able to still win this end game. Uh, yeah, put that in Australia. That's fine. We got some ponies after this. And now I'm going for this mega honeypot. That's where I'm going. You can go here. You can go here. Let's still slide. This is crazy. Ha! 
Ah, oh no. <laughs> I gotta break you. Dang it. Okay, well, it wasn't perfect, but you know, it got something done. Let's just take that. We got a lot of continents. They're down to 11. And you know what? Oops, I got a six. Figured that out. I put those guys here. Okay, your turn, green. I have four continents and a lot more troops. You figure it out. But green does have a big trade. So here they can try to do some damage. Uh, will they be able to make it all the way to Australia? Possibly. I could have left some guard on Australia, but let's just assume that they can't get there. And they're going to have so much less territory. They almost could have come off this 13 and ran all the way through all of this to get to Australia and maybe had better chances. But maybe they're going to be able to get North America here. Do I have a turn in? I don't have a turn in. So this is your chance to do something huge. Looks like they're going to go for the mega pot. They're going to try to take North America and defend it with some number of troops. And if somehow I can't do this, if somehow I can't break North America, maybe they're going to be in good luck. But I get to hold Australia. I will be strong enough to break North America. I might not get all the way to South America. They're coming out, okay? Taking as much territory as possible. So Green actually kind of understands how to play the end game. And look how close it is, 24 to 25. But I have cards. I can't use them yet. But I do have cards. I must break into North America. And this is my chance for glory because he's not going to have cards. So I can't make it to, to, uh, can't make it down there. I could defend my Australia. How much territory is he at? 19. Ah, oh, dear. Um, man. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to take and hold Australia. Leaves him on 18 though. Can I possibly win one of these? Get him one less troop. I can't win this one. Can I win this one and take Asia? That'd be great. No, I can't win any of those. Okay, so he's going to get six troops. And he gets... Oh, and he has South America too. Let's bring these guys up here. Okay. So he doesn't have cards, but he gets seven troops. So that's actually pretty decent for him. I'm going to get a trade in. No! What do you mean I don't get a trade in? It's 24 troops to 26. I don't have a trade in again. If he takes North America, I have to take it. He's contemplating if he can get in and break Australia. Or if you should concentrate on coming up here and grabbing a bunch of territory, which is also an interesting idea for him. So it looks like he's going to go for Europe. Whatever he takes, I have to break. So that's not a problem. Okay, so I will be able to break all of this and hopefully grab a whole bunch of territory over there. But I also need to get in here. I need to break South America. And then hope that he doesn't have a trade-in. Because I'm waiting another turn for a trade-in. Sure thing. Um, you're going to be a four. You're going to be everything else. So I'm not going to get that much done. I really need to remove more territory from this guy. Can I get South America? That'd be pretty great. So now at least he's going to get less troops because I've broken him here. Cool. And we take all of that. He's at 16. Can I get two more territories off him? It feels kind of unlikely. But maybe we can win another two-on-one. I may be wasting all my troops on these two-on-ones, but we've finally done it. And now I will finally have cards. And then we can finally do something. <laughs> Let's see what he comes up with. Okay, he's going to break South America. If I knew he was going to do this, I could have put my two down here. But whatever. That's fine. You break South America. I, no sweat. No sweat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven troops up in this area. And all the rest are here. So he's got like ten troops over here. Okay. Can I win on this turn? Let's see. Well, not the greatest trade. He says, good luck, good game. Maybe he doesn't have a trade. Uh, we're just going to send eight over there and the rest over here and see how much damage we can do. Uh, I think with crazy dice, maybe we have enough. The dice would have to be a little bit better than this. So we're not going to win on this turn. But let's take Asia to make his life a little bit more complicated. If he's saying good game, that might mean he doesn't have a card. If he doesn't have cards, then this is really, really, really easy. We might be able to take Europe too. Look at that. Amazing. We'll keep them right there. You know what? We'll bring these guys out. We'll just put them right there. That should be good enough for the next turn. Doesn't have a trade-in. Breaks Europe, breaks Asia. Now we can win the game. Look at that! That was fun! So I guess uh, we made a couple kind of crazy kills. Kind of crazy. Not, not horrendously crazy. Uh, we went for purple. That was our craziest kill in this game. And then we also... Uh, decided to eliminate red here in this endgame to come into a winning endgame. Good game. Well played. 
That's how you win the game of Risk. So this was a fun one. It was relatively quick. Uh, there was a lot of people fighting for the mega death pot of Doom in North America. This is becoming a common theme in a lot of the games that I've played. We took Australia right away. We somehow worked it all out. And we beat a master novice expert master beginner. A good lobby. Make sure you subscribe. And I will see you guys for the next video.